Hi, Shannon here with Shannon Sizzle and Stampers. I am super excited to show you a fabulous card featuring one of the new sets in our new catalog, and that is called Forever Fern. The Forever Fern set is beautiful, and it is part of a bundle, so when you bundle it, you have, I've got one of them out here, but you get this fantastic die cut of all these different ferns and different foliages that really can go a long way <clears throat> in making some very elaborate projects very simply. You will need one of our cutting machines um, if you don't already have one. Our new ones are on the way, and, as, and if you want one, let me know, and as soon as it is available, I'll make sure you get one. Now, for this project today, I'm also pulling in some of our new dies. This little scallop, specially stitched circle is from the tasteful labels dies and I normally don't ever use two different die packets on a card but I just really love both of these. Um, this one is excellent because with one set of dies you get so many different labels. You have circles, you have banners, you have curves, you have straight lines so it's really a nice label set for dies. So if you're just starting out or you want to get into dies this is a very good die set to begin with. Now, um, for this card today, I'm really only using the sentiment from the stamp set So for this particular project. So you'll be able to see how beautiful these dies are. I'm also pairing it with some of our designer series paper, which is this barn, barnwood paper from the Tasteful Textures Suite. Sorry, I'm still learning these suites. And I don't have my paper trimmer here, and I just realized I didn't actually end up cutting my, my uh, piece of paper on in half. So, all right, so we're going to be using a piece of that designer series paper just because I love the barnwood. I'm such a farmhouse person. We're using a piece of the early espresso. This is cut again, what I call hot dog style, but it's with that vertical. So when you cut your cardstock in half, you're cutting half at the eight and a half side. So you're cutting at four and a quarter. If you want the wide standard size card, you're cutting it in half off of your 11 inch side at that five and a half mark. So this one I've cut halfway down vertical at that four and a quarter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fold that in half. Grab my bone folder and give that a good, good fold. The other things I'm using are some of the Forever Greenery Designer Series paper or DSP. And I've cut this down to three inches by four inches. Okay. Now, those of you who know me know that normally I do um, a layer that is in quarter inch increments. This is one of those instances where this layer is going to be much smaller than the barn layer. And that's because I'm really using it not so much as a layer, but more of a focal point for this particular card. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just merely going to glue my piece of wood, designer series paper, and it is going to completely cover the front of that early espresso. This is the other reason I love the Tombow glue. You get a little bit of give with it to kind of make it slide into place where you need it. And to get that to lay down, I, I, it's another place where I use my bone folder a lot. So we've got that on just that first, and you see there's no layering. It's fully covering that early espresso. We're going to end up going ahead and centering this piece of this Forever Green Read Designer Series paper. And I'm telling you, this Forever Green Read Suite is gorgeous. I used it for my uh, Hoops for Hope fundraiser for ovarian cancer and it was very well received. So I am centering this piece just a little bit high. I'm centering it on the sides 
but I'm pulling it just a little bit more to the top and that's because we're going to add some other dimensions to this lower part. Now, I am going to quickly punch a two inch circle out of the sea foam, soft sea foam cardstock. And that is going to get glued to this lower corner. So just like so. Now, I have, remember I talked about the vanilla, or the little scalp thing. I have cut, because again, we have a dark card. So I want to make sure that someone can write in there and be able to see it very easily. So I cut a very vanilla. And this is another thing I love about this Forever Greenery paper pack, is that it, has ba it is based with vanilla and white. And so I love that. I love vanilla and white together. It's a very modern look. Um, it used to be that you would never put vanilla with white. You would use one or the other. But right now it's very on trend. When I've cut my designer series paper for these card fronts, you end up with a little tiny bit extra, about an inch. And so I'm like, why waste that? Let me go ahead and trim it down and put it on my... Uh, at the base of that writing piece of vanilla and that way it will bring that barn wood back in from the front as well. Okay. So that's the inside and again I will wait to add my inside sentiment until I know who I'm sending it to and then I can add the perfect sentiment. Now I talked about those two dies, um, die sets, the tasteful labels and I've cut, die cut, one of the vanilla labels out of this. So that's what it looks like on that side. And this is what it comes out. It's this beautiful cross between kind of a, a, a point and a doily round um, edges on it. And then it's got stitching on it as well as tiny little like holes from lace. And then the other piece I've cut is this dual piece of foliage like this. And that's what it comes out. And these are beautiful because they also give you embossed pieces on the leaves. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well. Let me bring it up slightly and see if you can kind of see those embossing pieces. Now, for this particular product, this is great like for this type of look. But I wanted to kind of do mine a little different. And so all I did was I just looked at about halfway and I just snipped it in half. So what I'm going to do at this point is we're going to go ahead and do the little bit of stamping. And I'm going to use the shaded spruce ink. So I'm just going to lift that up and slide it back. And the same out of this set that I'm using, this is, remember, the Forever Fern set, is to a friend that makes me smile. So I'm just going to ink that up. And again, this is one that is just barely going to fit on there. I don't know why I always tend to try to pick stamps like that. I like to fill my little layer circles, I guess. So I've got that stamped. Now, I'm not ready to quite adhere that. So this kit also, this suite also has this beautiful gold trim, as well as a vanilla flaxen ribbon. So we're going to use some of this gold trim. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it around three fingers. So I'm just going to wind it about three or four times, and then I'm going to cut that off. And a handy dandy tip I like to do with the twines to create, to get that easy, you'll see on cards and things that people have these nice little sprays of twine. So how I do it is I go around my fingers, I grab it, and if I want a full circle, I'm holding it down here. For this one, I'm going to let that spray out a little bit, and I want to pinch it kind of in the center. It does not have to be perfect. I am not ever looking for perfection when I use these twines. And I'm going to use my handy glue dots, and I'm just going to lay where I pinched it right down on that glue dot. And the glue dot kind of does all the work. I'm going to pick that up with the glue dot 
and I'm just going to kind of bring that over here at the side of my seafoam circle. Oops. And if I have a piece pop out, I just can use my little pick tool and put, pop it back onto that edge of that glue dot. And again, like I said, there's no rhyme or reason. This is just the little twines hanging out. I think I've got a little bit of Tombow glue on my fingers that it keeps sticking to. Okay, that's gonna be all right for right now. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a glue dot again, make sure that I have the side correct so that I can see the fun little embossed pieces of the leaves. And I'm gonna just gonna kind of tuck one and they kind of curve both ways. So you kind of want to look at how, how your leaf is curving. I'm going to kind of tuck it amidst, amidst the gold twine. I want some of the gold twine to be behind it. And I want some of the gold twine to be on top of it. I'm going to do the same thing with my other piece. So I'm going to just pop that right there on that glue dot. Carefully lift it up. Those are delicate once they've been removed from their little thing. I knew I did that. I put oh. just like that. I told you they were delicate. I just broke off a little piece of it. Fortunately for me, it's not a problem because I'm just using this as accent. So again, I'm going to come down here and put that maybe right about there. So it looks messy. It's not beautiful yet. The next thing to do is I'm going to take my little dimensionals again. I'm just going to put those on the back of my die cut circle, that lacy, doily esque circle. I love it. It's beautiful. Those are probably going to be my two favorite framelits that I use the most out of that particular set, which is saying something because I am not a huge uh, framelit person. I've been slowly, slowly getting hooked on them. Okay, now I see that I need to, I want to move my um, fern end, this one, in a little bit. So I'm going to just take that and move it over. Okay. Then I'm just going to slide that right on there with my glue dots. And it's all done. And that is, that is all there is to that project. It's beautiful. Here's another one that I did earlier where my gold twine stayed nice and a little bit nice and tighter on that loop. So hopefully you've enjoyed that project and it's given you some ideas to be creative and sending it cards out to people. Cards are wonderful to make and they're very therapeutic, but help bring some therapy and care and kindness to others by going ahead and sending your cards out when you get them completed. Thanks, guys.